All right, we know and love them as Darren and Mo in the morning with CHFI. And joining us now, we're going to check in with our good friend Maureen Holloway about a cause very near and dear to her. Good morning, Mo. It's Adam and Dina here. Hi, Dina. Hi, Adam. How are you? We're well. Now, talk to us about what's happening. It's next Saturday and Sunday. It'll be your third year participating. And what is it? It is the Ride to Conquer Cancer. It's a huge initiative. This is actually the 10th anniversary. And for the last five years, more or less, my whole family's been involved um, for sad reasons. We lost my brother-in-law uh, five years ago, and I'm a cancer survivor. And basically everybody I know and you know has been touched by it. So one of the best ways to, to fight this, I guess, would be to get all your friends and family together and get on your bikes and ride. And uh, my team is um, a big team. It's called the Hicks Fire Team. It was named after my brother-in-law, Bob Hicks, and uh, our captain is his, his widow, my sister-in-law. And um, collectively, over the last five years, the Hicks Fire Team has raised over a million dollars for the Princess wow. Margaret Foundation. Wow. And my whole family is involved. Um, my, my husband, my sons, uh, sons' girlfriends, nieces, nephews, it's, it's, a, it's a whole family effort. Mo, I remember when, when you were going through this, because I, I listened to you every morning, and, uh, and I remember, and, and this year, it's, it's, you're not, it, you're, you're riding in, um, you're riding for somebody specifically, uh, somebody named Andre, well, correct? Well, actually, every year, sadly, there's always another reason and another person to support. So, a dear friend of mine, uh, Andre Maisonov, also known as Catfish Morgan, he was a radio announcer here in Toronto for a while and for many years in Montreal. He uh, passed away last year from cancer, six months after being diagnosed. So I'm writing for him. And my brother Andrew, whom I'm actually going to visit uh, today, who lives in Germany, is um, dealing with his second bout with throat cancer. and. Uh, Sadly, there's always always somebody to ride for, but uh, you know every every mile that you or kilometer that you cycle and every dollar that you raise goes to Princess Margaret, and they're making tremendous strides even in the five years since I've been involved. So, it's a it's an amazing cause, and, and uh, yeah, like I said, there's always someone to ride for, whether it's in your immediate family or not. But it, it's an incredibly joyful experience, and and uh, and you get fit. <laughs> and um, and you have a lot of fun. Yeah, we've all been affected. We all know somebody who's been touched by cancer or is going through it right now. So how can we contribute if we can't actually get there alongside you and cycle? Well, you just have to go to just Google the Ride to Conquer Cancer Ontario 2017. You can donate to the fund in general. You can donate to a person specifically. Um, I have a, my family's reached uh, its goals, but like I said, it's uh, and you immediately get a tax receipt in the email in your email. So there's really no excuse not to do it. And most importantly, I think what I want to pass on is that no donation is too small. You don't have to give hundreds. Seriously, anything. My kids raise money, you know, with their friends. They don't have big budgets, but every little bit counts. So you can certainly support us that way. Or come to the finish line in Niagara on Sunday. Yeah, That's a sure week you Sunday. Want. Awesome. We wish you an amazing ride. And thank you so much again for participating every year and continue health. And to everybody who's battling it right now, keep fighting. And we're right there with you. Thank you so much, Maureen. Thanks, Paul.